Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney for the Nintendo DS. I'm Samurai TX, and the last time we left off, we did um, cross examine Mike Meekins for one last time, and um, it did lead to um, us being thrown under the bus. So, like, Edgeworth um, countered our um, argument and almost pulled us on the spot. But we countered it by saying um, we wanted to talk to Jake Marshall about um, what happened on the day. Because, well, he's the patrol, he's the guard at this um, evidence, he's the guard of the evidence room. And we still need to wonder, right, what was he up to and why wasn't he there and whatnot. So, um, yeah, that's why we called Jake Marshall to the stand. Then, during recess, um, Lana used our name to get Detective Gumshoe to bring some SL9 files to um, us. And when um, when we brought them files, we read them, and we realised that um, all the people in this case right now, except Phoenix and Gumshoe, um, is linked to this SL9 case, aka the Joe Dark killing. So we do have some light of the SL9 incident and what it was about and whatnot. But we're still going to read the case files. Well, I want to. I will, I will be reading them like off screen and whatnot. I'm not gonna read them on screen. Well I might do that in this video, but who knows. But anyway we're gonna um we've um the recess is over and we're about to enter court again and well it seems Jake Marshall's about to take the stand so without further ado let's keep you guys um let's not keep you guys in suspense anymore because I've spoke for one minute and forty so let's go Smack The court will now rec the court will now reconvene for the trial of Miss Lana Sky Emma didn't come back. Yeah, she ran off, by the way, if you didn't watch the last video, but I know you saw did. So yeah, she ran away. And she hasn't come back yet. Allow me to call the next witness to the stand. The officer in charge of God in the evidence room on the day of the crime. Right, I'm drinking my whiskey, partner. Witness, state your name and occupation. Hold it right there, partner. I'm drinking, okay? Me, partner. I'm just one. I'm just a wandering man, the same as you, just wandering the trails of civilization, occasionally helping the elderly cross intersections when needed. Oh, I know. You're a patrolman. And I'm drinking my whiskey during the court. Ask for my name. If you listen hard enough, you can hear the howling wind calling it out. To be exact, is Jake Marshall, your honor. Howling wind? I've never heard Edgeworth described that way before. Now, Mr. Marshall, let me ask you something. You were in charge of guarding the evidence room on the day the crime took place. Is this correct? According to the papers, partner. What do you mean? A Desperado's soul is as boundless as the desert sand. No paper can sum it up. Maybe it's best we get on with it. Maybe it's best we get on with this quickly. Please share with us your testimony on the day of the crime. In English. Alright. My job is my job is was to keep the wary eye on the bone orchid. They said I was supposed to make rounds three times a day, but that ain't my style as I shave my beard. Besides, the room's protected by two security systems anyway. If I remember right, I was at the street side saloon at the time it went down, partner. I'm just an innocent traveling man, so if you're out of ammo, it's time I hit the trail. I can't say I particularly care for your attitude. I can't say I care for your beard, but you don't see me complaining, partner, as I shed my beard. Wait a minute. What do you mean by two security systems? I mean the security cameras and the ID card reader, partner. I reckon even a cowpoke like you knows about those. Yes, well, what about the fingerprint activated locks inside the evidence room? Fingerprint activated locks? What kind of newfangled doohickeys are those? He's not being very helpful. 
He's not good with machines or following orders. Oh, we've already established that. Everyone's got their... Uh, sorry. Everyone's got their weaknesses now, don't they, Mr. Mr. Prosecutor? This one seems like trouble. Okay, Mr. Wright, he's all yours. Alright. Here's our first cross-examination of Jake Marshall. Nah. One statement bothered me, though. It's something about, like, if we're out of ammo. Because we're not out of ammo. We're not really out of ammo, you know? Because we do have ammo. We want to know about your fingerprints. Because we found your fingerprints on your on the locker, one of the lockers. So, we're going to present it. We didn't tell Edgeworth about it. So, we're just going to um, present this um, trump card right off the bat. So, without further ado, Objection! let's present it. Officer Marshall, doesn't it strike you as odd that is you being called in to testify like this? Mm. After all, you weren't in the security room at the time of the crime. And yet you dragged me down here. Explain yourself, partner, after I take my drink. It's quite simple. You left a very large trail behind at the scene. Or to be exact, a handprint. <laughs> Listen real good, partner. Like I said, I'm the caretaker of that crate. I pay my respects, that is, made my rounds once about once a month. It's only natural my fingerprints will be there. I only wish it were, officer. Table smash. But you see, your fingerprints were covered in blood. Smack. Witness, what's the meaning of this? Your bloodstained fingerprints were at the scribe scene? The blood was wiped away, however. A luminal test clearly revealed this. Well, Officer Marshall? <laughs> well, partner, I ain't gonna talk to you because I'm shaving my beard. Now shut up and let me finish. It seems to me there ain't a person in this room with a head on his shoulders. Huh? I take it you have an explanation then, Officer Marshall? About about the bloodstained fingerprints. Sorry, I was I keep getting mixed up. I keep doing a mixture of um like a dodgy redneck cowboy. Right, I tried my best to do a cowboy accent, but it seems it's not working. But maybe you guys uh, can give a review. I'll try. I'll keep trying to impersonate like a cowboy, whether it's a redneck one or um try and do like a Rick Grimes esque cowboy voice or something like that. Very well. You may begin your testimony about your fingerprints. Found at the scene of the crime. Alright. Like I said, it's only natural for my fingerprints to be in that evidence room. One of them just happened to be at the same place as the bloodstained handprint. The murderer touched the locker where my fingerprint was by chance. The bloodstain and the fingerprints are completely unrelated. I'm going to shave my beard during my testimony because I don't care what you guys think. Or didn't you know the murderer was wearing glasses? See, I had nothing to do with it. Hmm. Hmm. The witness explanation appears valid. Although there's room for doubt. Life wouldn't be fun without any doubt, partner. The defense may cross-examine the witness. This guy's hiding something. I can feel it. Now's my chance to prove it. And I'm gonna shave my beard because the camera's on me again. Howdy, partners. I'm ready to cross-examine the witness. Sorry, that was just me pretending to be a cowboy. Right. That's because, how did you put it? Pay your respects once a month? Yeah, that's right. That and one more thing. That locker happens to be mine. What? What do you mean? I mean what I said. That's the locker I used when I was a detective. The locker I still use. All that's in there now, though, is a heap of broken dreams. And part of my hair, because I keep shaving in there. I see. It'd be strange if my prints weren't all over that locker. 
Apparently his fingerprint data was never changed. He must have been using the fingerprint lock without even knowing it. Alright. I'm gonna keep pressing him. While he drinks his whiskey, nonetheless. So then, what about the bloody handprint? It wasn't mine, it's no mystery. Please explain. My locker is covered in my hand in my fingerprints. It's just so happened. Pressing him? Table smash. The chances of that happening are a million to one. On the contrary, one could argue that the opposite is the sorry, on the contrary, one could argue just the opposite. The chances of that not happening are a million to one, partner. Get one thing straight, partner. You ain't gonna get no reward from me with a mere fingerprint. You wanna know why? I don't know why, because I'm shaving my beard as we speak and I'm not talking right now, because my beard's more important than giving a stupid testimony. I'm related. They're as different as night and day. Kind of like cereal and cereal. One's got to do with breakfast and the other types of murder. He's right. Although seemingly alike, they're totally different. I don't see why harmoniums have to do with this. Press. How did you know that? I may be a loner, but I still do my job. I keep up the reports. There was a bloodstain at the scene. Food to be left by the murderer. That's right. It was found on Detective Gumshoe's locker. However, no fingerprints were detected on that handprint. Oh yeah, I think we tried that too. Mm. So that would be... Murderer wearing gloves, happened to place his hands on the top of Officer Marshall's fingerprint? Yes, the only logical conclusion, partner. Are you starting to get the picture, partner? The picture? This seal of blood in the desert is just food for the buzzards. Huh? There's only one reality, and that's this. The security tape. So as long as my trail isn't in there, you can't say otherwise. This isn't getting us anywhere, Mr. Wright. Please consider carefully what you're going to do with this course examination. Y yes Your Honor. Now then, continue your testimony, Officer Marshal. Let's press. What do you mean by that? You want to tie me into this crime, isn't it, right, partner? If so, if so, that video is the only direct evidence you have, partner. Objection. Table smash. But that video is next to useless. It's full of blind spots. Blind spots, not splots. Spots. Blind spots. Places you can't see. Do we have to watch this video again? The camera's panning back and forth. The floor isn't shown. If someone was familiar with the camera's position, he could leave the room without being caught and tape. Table smash. We don't have time for your speculations, Mr. Wright. Well, Mr. Wright, if you can show us evidence in that video that indicates Officer Marshall was present, do so now. Well, we got no choice in this matter. We have to show evidence. So, all right, we will. Very well. Allow me to point out your mistake, Officer Marshall. Tread carefully, Mr. Wright, or you might wind up being... Tread carefully, Mr. Wright, or you might wind up being the one making the mistake. Smack. Now then, let's have another look at the video. Show us this incriminating evidence of the witness. Officer Jake Marshall. Right. Sorry about this. We're going to call it a video here. When we come back, folks, we will actually... Um, give our explanation until then until then thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time